Hello friends, welcome to Live Traveling. Today we'll see Los Angeles, California, complete travel guys things to do. Los Angeles, California, how could you begin to sum up a city that is impossible to define? Whether you're talking about the limitless sprawl of districts and suburbs or the jolting contrast between sun-baked hills and soft beaches, the high culture of its art institutions, or the rip-roaring fun of its theme parks, Los Angeles is not easy categorized. You could spend days buried in superior museums without ever seeing Hollywood, or devote a whole trip to nothing but studio tours and pilgrimages to share, worthy places from TV and movies. Or you might want to go deeper and hunt down the best taco truck or discover the next big comedy talent to come out of Silver Lake or Echo Park. Hollywood sign put up in 1923, and originally spelling Hollywoodland, a real estate development, the unmistakable Hollywood sign was only supposed to last for 18 months. The arrival of the golden age of Hollywood changed all that, and the sign has remained on Mount Lee in Griffith Park ever since, and dropping land in 1949. This landmark was rebuilt in steel in 1978 and was last repainted in 2005. One of the easiest vantage points in the basin is the raised patio on the northeast corner of the Hollywood Highland Center Mall, and there's another atop the Home Depot parking garage on Sunset Boulevard. The Getty Center, the main branch of the J. Paul Getty Museum, is in Brentwood, surveying Los Angeles from its hilltop roost. The museum's founder was petro-industrialist Jean-Paul Getty, who left another $661 into the institution when he passed away in 1976. This went towards a spectacular and labyrinthine new complex, the Getty Center, which opened in 1997 after almost two decades of planning and construction. Huntington Library, art collections, and botanical gardens among the world's great research libraries. The Huntington and San Marino, Los Angeles County, holds more than 9 million items from the 1000s to the 21st century. For an everyday visitor, the Library Exhibition Hall draws from these enormous reserves, showing a captivating miscellany, from medieval manuscripts to documents from Abraham Lincoln's life. The library is in 120 acres of lush botanical gardens, with magnificent living collections of orchids, bonsai, cycads, and camellias. Griffith Park in 1896, the Welsh mining magnate Griffith J. Griffith presented over 3,000 acres of Rancho Los Feliz to the city of Los Angeles as a Christmas present. Since then, Park has added another 1,000 acres, making it one of the largest urban parks in the United States. Griffith Park is a rough-hewn wilderness, incorporating a chunk of the Santa Monica Mountains and streaked with trails for walking and horseback riding. The Los Angeles Zoo is here, and there are two public golf courses, Harding and Wilson, tree and pony rides for youngsters, tennis courts, lots of concession stands and picnic ground. Griffith Observatory, in a second Christmas present in 1912, Griffith J. Griffith, Griffith put up the funds for the Park's Greek Theater and the Griffith Observatory, which wouldn't be completed until 1935. Of all the many enduring landmarks in Los Angeles, this three-domed Art Deco monument holds a certain mystique. The Griffith Observatory is posted on the south face of Mount Hollywood, the highest peak in the park, and the sight of the city rippling in the sun or twinkling at night from observatories, terraces, or the stuff of dream. We can't begin to list the movies and TV shows that have made the most of this location, but James Dean's Rebel Without a Cause, 1955, is the one that put the observatories in the world's gaze. Los Angeles County Museum of Art, LACMA the largest art museum in the western United States, and one of the largest museums of any description in the country. LACMA on Wilshire Boulevard's Miracle Mile is in a mishmash of seven buildings on a 20-acre site. The collections are mind-bendingly vast, covering all ends of the earth and from the ancient times to the present. For the smallest summary, there are inventories of Greek, Roman and Etruscan art, American and Latin American art, modern and contemporary art, Islamic art, Islamic art, Islamic art, Islamic art, is photography and film as well as eye. Catching permanent art installation, Venice, an eccentric neighborhood and seaside resort, the world-famous Venice is Los Angeles at its most cosmopolitan and independent. Although gentrification has crept in, the 2.5-mile Venice Beach boardwalk is still prowled by outlandish characters and teams with tattoo parlors, cannabis shops, international cuisine, countless street vendors, and a big cast of street performers. The Skate Plaza and Venice Muscle Beach are two world-famous signatures, as is the Snaking Strand Trail on the cusp of the massive sandy beach with its constant stream of cyclists and skaters. Getty Villa before the Getty Center, there was the Getty Villa commissioned by J. Paul Getty in the 1970s after the previous gallery on his property in Pacific Palisades ran out of space. The Getty Villa 
is down the hill on the same land looking out onto the Pacific. The building, completed in 1974, is a reproduction of a lavish, first-century Sea Roman villa. The villa of the Papiri in Herculaneum, to be precise. California Science Center in October 2012, the Space Shuttle Endeavor, which took part in 25 NASA missions from 1992 to 2011, rolled through the Los Angeles streets from LAX to the California Science Center. At the time of writing in 2019, the shuttle was still in a temporary pavilion, and the exhibition, available with a special exhibit or IMAX theater pass, shows off this staggering piece of hardware, along with some of its fittings like the Space Potty Galley tires from its final mission and the Space Hab Logistics Module, a kind of workshop for astronauts, Warner Bros. Studio Tour as opposed to the Action Pack Universal Studio Tour, a visit to Warner Bros. Close by in Burbank is less about razzle, dazzle, and more about the craft of making films and TV shows. The standard tour lasts between two and three hours and packs in a visit to the soundstage where the Big Bang Theory is shot, as well as the archive and prop house bursting with props and costume from countless movies including the Harry Potter series and the DC Universe, La Brea Tar Pits and Page Museum over tens of thousands of years until Los Angeles was developed, animals would be trapped and preserved in the tar at what is now Hancock Park by LACMA. Heavy oil from the Salt Lake oil field would seep to the surface, becoming viscous natural tar as its lighter fractions evaporated. The tar would be covered with a layer of water or dead leaves, waiting to lure unsuspecting mammoths, saber-toothed cats, bison, horses, and dire wolves, and preserve them intact. Venice Canals at the turn of the 20th century, the developer Abbott Kinney conceived a miniature version of Venice's canals, marketed as the Venice of America replenished by the Pacific through sea gates at the Marina del Rey breakwater. These cute waterways were built in 1905 but had become outmoded by the late 1920s and over the next few decades were allowed to fall into disrepair. Disneyland Resort, an obligatory day trip, whatever your age, Disneyland Resort is two theme parks, Disneyland Park and Disneyland Park and Disney California Adventure, linked by the outdoor shopping area, downtown Disney. It all began in 1955 with Disneyland Park, overseen by Walt Disney himself. Fair to say that Disneyland Park is the original modern theme park, divided into lands and crammed with rides that have passed into legend, like Space Mountain, Pirates of the Caribbean, and Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. Hollywood Walk of Fame, there are things in every city that locals avoid like the plague, but visitors can't afford to pass up. The Hollywood Walk of Fame is in that vein. Commending actors, musicians, directors, musical and theatrical groups, and even 16 fictional characters with stars in the pavement. A little less than half of all the stars are dedicated to someone in the film industry. Grauman's Chinese Theater Hollywood history permeates the exquisitely decorated Grauman's Chinese Theater on the Walk of Fame. This monument, designed to resemble a Chinese pagoda and guarded by a pair of Ming Dynasty lions, has hosted more than its fair share of premieres since it opened for Cecil B. DeMille's The King of Kings in 1927. To commemorate the Star Wars premiere in 1977, the Prince of Darth Vader, C-3PO, and R2-2 were taken in the concrete forecourt. Universal Studios Hollywood in 1964, Universal Studios started offering tours of its studio lot to see sets and props that had already been inscribed in movie and television history at Universal City. Before long, this developed into a fully-fledged theme park. Almost everything is based on Universal Studios productions and updated every few years to stay current. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, subscribe.